Okay, hello everyone, sorry about that. I'm like, got this all set up, and I'm just like... Forgot to plug in my mic to my headset. Just double checking the camera. Alright, hello everyone. What is good today? It's your boy DJ Mass Styles. We are starting this F1 2020. Let's play starting with y'all. I'm gonna finish. Ugh, just like over. We're gonna continue this. I don't think this is gonna finish anytime soon. This is just gonna continue. Um, I am looking to uh, get finished with um, uh, what you call it, uh, The Last of Us Part Two. I am going to play it tomorrow, so tune in for that. I will be playing it live tomorrow. Um, don't know how I'm going to be starting it, but it's going to be live, so just tune in, or you know, hit the hit that bell. Just hit that bell. I'll tell you uh, when I start live. Just come watch, man. Um, so, right now we gotta pick a team. Name. Yeah, I already know who I'm gonna be. Um, Dragon Mothers. Dragon Mothers. Some kind of income stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary sponsor. Our primary sponsor will pay a signing bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal that they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Two point finishes. It's playing up there in the bit but in, in, in mid pack. I kinda do want the money though. But I do like just finish tenth or better. But that's the thing, I'm not even trying to I'm actually gonna get into good the car. So Fantastic. okay. Now we've got a bunch I'll push myself a little bit. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So oh, simple Honda. Honda. We need both performance and durability from our power unit. Honda. We also need to balance the books. Honda. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our I don't give a shit, Honda. We almost have all the key partners for our team now, but we still need a teammate for you. These no, I see a lot of people are your first teammate. Or pick and make Schumach. So consider everything when deciding who to hunt. Mick Schumach. A lot of people pick and pick Mick uh, Mick Schumach. When a driver earns enough acclaim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more acclaim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the See team levels up, the faster our income will increase. The higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. Looks like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. Yeah, we're going to confirm. Edit delivery will be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. Yeah, I will be changing this look. I don't want to do it right now. So maybe I should. Oh, got a couple of new ones. I like that. I like that. Now we need a badge for our team branding. Select an existing badge, edit it, or create one from scratch.
We'll be good for Dragon Motors. No, I don't want to look like the car either. And edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to Team HQ, and we can start our push to the top of Formula One. Yeah, found it. Secondary color. Go to yellow. No, let's go to nice. Is that a race suit? No, we can't change the race suit? Oh, I can, yeah, okay. I was not gonna say. That looks mean. Do 
those yellow ones. Oh, they're probably with that one. I swear I have all these, man. Oh, oh I gotta buy this one. Meh. That'd be cool. I'm going to do 22 races. So it's going to be full on. We're going to do full race distance for every single race. I'm going to start at 70 and go from there. Uh, if I'm struggling to keep up with the pack, nah, I should be good to keep up with the pack. 70. Uh, if I'm if it's actually too too weak and I'm still leading leading instead of the middle of the pack, I'll boost it up. Keep me keep me fighting in the middle of the pack. Flashbacks. Yeah, it'll be good so I can show you guys what'll be going on. I'm not really trying to be using it. If I crash, I crash. I'm out. Um. Hopefully, I'm trying to do too much crashing. <laughs> and it sucks if I keep crashing all the time and go out but um that's just reality can't do nothing about that I just want the flashbacks on to um so I can show you if anybody else goes out this is regular race starts manual yep Okay, break assist off, ABS off, traction control off, corners only, manual, pit assist off, pit release off, 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 fuel assist. I just want the racing line. That's it. Only in corners only for now. No. Looks uh looks right. So we, I I do have a steering wheel I'm using the G twenty. No G twenty nine. That's the steering wheel I'm using today. Well, I'm gonna be using for a while. My broke ass can't afford anything bigger than that. Oh shit, give me a second, I gotta go check out my food.
Sorry about that, YouTube. Um, I had to go make food for my lovely nan. What things you do when you're loving grandson? Okay, so, where were we? Oh, yes, interview time, yeah? Backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number Manor, Caterham, HRT, and of course Hans. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams, and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out, though, as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. There's a rich history of that in Formula 1 too. Sir Jack Brabham, mm -hmm. John Surtees, Graham Hill and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport, but it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team though is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula 1, so too is its driver and owner. Whatever happens this season, you've already made the history here. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? It's all about my team, man. Every team needs two drivers. But what was it that drew you to your teammates? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> The Hasses will kind of look shitty this year. So does that for Romero. But I want to go against Hass. Oh why? How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? Get injection out of the core, out of the corner. Chassis balance is incredible. Making the car response. <laughs> Possible. Improve. I'm going into the corners. Yeah, corners are a big thing. Um, chassis is also a big thing. A real light car is a real good flingy flying car. Plus, good aerodynamics. And so. I'll go chassis for now. I like the other I like teams chassis. now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? For the ERS system, the fuel load. Keep weight down. Overtaking is a key part of this sport. Yep. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? Chassis. And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? 
credit power unit. Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. Okay, great, thank you. That's a wrap. Car looks good. Great interview, boss. You nailed exactly what the team's been working on. When you've got time, check the R&D tree to see our current progress and where we think there's room for more. And while you're at it, why not take a stroll around HQ and check on how the team's doing? This is where you can view our current facilities and the effects they're having on the business. You can also invest some of our cash into upgrades for these facilities. Hmm. like that this is the driver market from here you can see pertinent details on each driver in the sport compare them with each other and add them to your watch list okay when the contract negotiation window rolls around this is where you will approach any drivers you wish to hire He's a free agent. Fuck. So why didn't they add him there? But your experience is kind of bad. But everything else is alright. Your pace is fantastic too. It's important to use the time between races to the fullest extent. And that's where these activities come in. Manage everyone's time as efficiently as possible to maximize the team's performance. Driver camp. Actually, wait, go back here. I'm going to do air on chassis focus. And here, I'm going to do driver camp. And I'm going to go to the Grand Prix. I like how they do the car reveal though. I've never had it before, so it's nice to see it now. I can't wait to actually start playing. Got my first yep, my first drive. Alright, I've driven it before, but I mean my first time with you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I played it before. But a long time ago, like when it first came out. I haven't played it since it first came out. Like the day it came out, I played two days and that was it. 
I went back playing my other games and I wanted to finish them out quickly. And on top of that, I was going around um trying to find go kart tracks. I was open at the same time and when it when one was open, I went there and I was doing um I was going around the go kart track a couple of times, so um I was on the We really need to start upgrading all these after. Wait, look at the power train. It's gonna be a lot. Maybe I should have done it with the chassis. Maybe. Who knows? Anyways. Now. Why is there a 30% chance of failure? Spec ones required. Might as well do this. 36% chance of failing like forty percent chance of failing on their ability. Chez front wing then might as well take this and put it towards here it's a little bit sad nothing to want to work out so we're gonna do a full I don't, I'm not doing the race today. The race is going to be a little bit way too long. So we're just going to do probably FP1. Uh, I'll probably drop into FP2. Do a little bit in FP2. And, um, and then tomorrow I'll hop back on. I'll do FP3. And, FP4 and um, quality. And then Friday, we'll do the race. That's how it's going to be. So, let's get this done. Oh. I'm doing this for you guys, right? But I don't want to just go straight into the race. I actually do want to kind of do um do this. So, well, actually, this makes sense. I'll do quality with you guys, and I'll do the full race with you guys live.
Because I don't think you guys want to see me run around and do all this shit, so. We started it. Y'all know that. I'm in Dragon Mortis. Let me see how it is. Um. And I will do quality with you guys live. I will do race with you guys live tomorrow. So, that'll be fun. And then I'll just jump right into, uh, The Last of Us after. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you soon.